You see, the one thing that these liberal douchebags don't understand, especially people like uh, Retzo Fatso, is the news that we get here in New York compared with the news that's out in 98 and 97.5% white population of New Hampshire and Vermont. They are so fucking out of touch with black culture and what these people do, which is just total savagery, the way I look at it. That's why I call them the inferior people. Now, I'm going to memorize what I saw in the news tonight, and I'm going to report the news to you, to you, New York style. So, in the news, I saw an incident on uh, Channel 2 News, CBS station, here in New York, that a black female was going to get arrested involving her brother on some type of murder charge or attempted murder. I, I'm not really sure the whole story. And, of course, she causes a scene and the officers are there to make an arrest. I think it's her brother. You know what she does? She carries on like a typical black woman does, very violently, doesn't cooperate, doesn't calm her fucking jets down, strikes the officer who's also a black police officer. She missed, but she hit him here or somewhere here in this area because she meant, because she took a wild swing and she meant to slap the, 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 the cop in the face. My brother is shit, NYPD's finest. Takes his right hand, straight right shot, hit her right here, knocked it down to the ground. It was like best knockout you ever seen. She she was still with it. And then they properly placed her under arrest. So you know what the bitch does? She makes an accusation of an assault by the NYPD. The video was taken to the John Jay Criminal Justice uh, Set. Well, uh, a professor who's uh, um, who's a black guy too. He works at John Jay, and uh, he's a professor there. You know, uh, in case any of you don't know who, what John Jay is, it's an elite college for law enforcement. Watch the video and concluded that the officer had justification to defend himself after she attempted to slap the taste out of, out of his mouth. Okay, so that was one of the incidents today in the news. And of course they had a news conference because you know, they had this uh, lawyer to represent her and the mother's there and she's crying, like, and she's holding the Bible, which has nothing to do with the fact that her daughter attempted to assault a peace officer, an NYPD police officer, a peace officer, and the video clearly shows her intent was to smack the shit out of that cop. And that cop took it, he took a, an assault in this area, and went Bang! Straight shot. Bang! Right into her. Uh, because black women are just as violent as their male counterparts. Male counterparts? They said that right? As violent as the men. Even more violent. I've seen some great... You know, if you want to see some pack of wolves and a pack of dogs look no further but to go to YouTube and see all the videos of these nasty black women jumping other nasty black women and whoever is in their way and just going off like swinging like this with their arms flinging their legs kicking I mean holy shit are they violent and they must be put down like any other animal. 
Like if you were being attacked by a cheetah or a bear and your life was on the line and you had no choice but to fight back, you would fight back with every inch of power that you possess in your body not that not to let that animal eat you alive and i feel the same way about these black women here's another instance where they abused a taxi driver a livery taxi driver and thank god most of them are armed with cameras so he got a call and it was all black women but there was too many of them and they possessed possessed a safety issue for the taxi driver because taxis are regulated to pick only three what's it three in the back and one in the front so that's four people and there was a whole mess of black women let me tell you something and they were like the queens because now they have this designation that now they're they're like queens they think they're hot shit perpetuated by these fucking ridiculous shows on you know TBS like uh you know, rapper chicks, Atlanta, and uh, hip hop, this, and uh, you know, everything promoting the new black culture of today, which promotes gang life, thugganism, rap music, and just horrible, horrible things like that that lead to crime and lead to. Uh, for these people not getting respect from the rest of the population. So the taxi driver was pepper sprayed, assaulted, jumped on, and his cell phone was stolen. So these women now are on the wanted list. And I hope they all get arrested, but it's not going to mean anything to them because they love jail. That's the culture of the Dogonomics of the inferior people that they love jail. They love it. They see their homies. Yo, homie, it's been a long time and shit, my, 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 my nigga and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yo, what's up? It's like a reunion. It's like a college dorm in jail for these inferior people. And I'm going to keep calling them inferior people because something needs to be done where one day they will realize that they're never going to be respected, they're never going to be liked, and they're always going to be a problem, and they've been a problem for 400 goddamn years in this country. And I am not going to respect them. The language out of their mouths, the disrespect out of their mouths, when they go to movies, they make a fucking racket, they disturb everybody, they make a scene, they love making a scene. I will never give these people respect. Because in my world, you got to earn respect. I don't care who you are or what you are. You know, you got to earn respect. And I know the people that have my respect. But the inferior people, though, they'll never have my respect. Ever, 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 ever. Especially with news events like this in the news attacking. They just murdered a cab driver two weeks ago. Almost three weeks ago. Gave him a punch. The big tall black guy, right? The cab driver was uh, from the uh, from the islands. He was Caribbean. Punched him, knocked him down, hit his head on the sidewalk, murder. I haven't heard anything about that, but I hope I do. And there were those wild animals, those women that disguise themselves as women, who are not women, they're fucking animals. They're fucking dogs, they're rapid dogs disguised as women and they attacked that poor cab driver and the cab driver if it was me I would have had a fucking baseball bat or a chain or pep or a bear spray or pepper spray or fucking BB gun but I would have had something in my fucking hand preferably a big stick <laughs> when I take that swing man it'll break over their fucking bodies I would have never ever get out of my cab with no weapons in my hand. I would have been carrying at least seven, eight fucking weapons. Okay? That's New York City. That's the way it was many years ago. I had experienced that. Yep. 
I know what road rage is, and I know what violence is. But I have to say, luckily, I never really got involved in that kind of stuff. Violence, I mean. Road rage. It's not a good thing. But you know, there used to be a sticker by this gun shop in Long Island called Edelman's. And they would say something like this. Make love, but not war. But be prepared for both. <laughs>